Here's a quick example of using a 2 by 2 determinant to get the area of a triangle. And at the end, I'm going to contrast that with how our book uses a 3 by 3 determinant, which I think is somewhat misleading when you go further with this stuff. So um, let's say we have the triangle. Um, four, five, six, seven, okay. Let's say one of the vertices is at 1, comma 2, and another vertex is at, let's say, minus 1, comma 5, and the other one is at 3, comma 7. Okay. And in our class, we discovered that there was a two-step procedure for um, doing this. What we can do is first recast uh, this so that one of the vertices is at the origin. Basically, move the, the coordinate system so that one of the vertices is at the origin. What that does is it just subtracts the coordinates of this point, which we're now declaring to be 0 from these guys. Okay, So we're going to take. Um, like this vertex, for example, 3 minus 1 is 2, and 7 minus 2 is 5. So that's going to become 2 comma 5. And that's the new version of this guy. It's 2 units over and 5 units up from that guy. And then this one, minus 1 minus 1. Ooh, that's minus 2 because it's 2 units left from our new origin. And then 5 minus 2 is 3. So minus 2 comma 3 is the new version of this guy. And then it's very simple. You just put them in a 2 by 2 determinant. So we're going to take, um, let's take, I'm going to take this one first because I want to demonstrate something. We're going to take minus 2, 3, and 2, 5. And we're just going to put them in. Now you might think, oh, I, I'm going to I'm going to be confused as to whether to put them in the rows or the columns of the 2 by 2 determinant. It turns out it doesn't matter if you think about the formula. Um, and it's a pretty profound fact that it doesn't matter, actually. Okay, so the determinant of that is minus 10 and then minus 6. Ooh, minus 16. Okay, so there's two things we still need to do with this. One is that the determinant actually measures, it's actually really talking about the parallelogram. It turns out to be a very fundamental thing, the connection between determinants and parallelograms. So one thing is we have to take half of that. So we get minus 8. And then the annoying thing is that it's a negative. It's supposed to be an area. Well, it turns out that if you do this, and if you do this, what we're really doing is using this vector here, and then this vector, and if the way you, or you refer to them, and the way you put them in in the rows or the columns, uh, means that you're going from this one clockwise to the next one, you'll always get a minus sign. And all we have to do is just take the absolute value of that. Okay. So I'll put, erase the equal. So it turns into 8 as the, the, um, the answer. So what you do is this two-step process, basically. Convert these coordinates to these guys by subtracting off this one, to use that as the origin, and then do one half of the 2 by 2 determinant, and then just take the absolute value. So I guess that's maybe, it's two big steps, but it's maybe four small steps. Okay. So the formula is if I've got these points, oh, let's switch colors so that's getting kind of, oh, that's good, okay. So if I've got x sub 0, y sub 0, or x naught, y naught, and x1, y1, and x2, y2, that's a y. I know my x's and y's look alike. I should, should draw them better. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take we're going to subtract off the x naught, so we're going to create x1 minus x naught, y1 minus y naught, and x2 minus x naught, y2 minus y naught. It's really vector vectors that we're working with here. We're really getting the vector here and the vector here. And so if you've done vectors, this should be at least a little familiar, this idea of subtracting components. And we put them into a 2 by 2 determinant. So we just take the determinant. Those are x's. And these are y's. And again, if you put them in these columns instead of rows, it won't screw you up. Okay, so we're going to take the determinant of that, 
take a half of it because it's a triangle, not a parallelogram. And then we're just going to take the absolute value. Now I'm going to not write just absolute value bars because it could be conf confusing with these bars. It's really annoying that determinants and absolute values actually have a lot to do with each other. You often use them together and use almost exactly the same notation. The determinant has these vertical bars and then the vertical bars are supposed to be absolute value too. So it's going to be absolute value of this guy. Okay. So that's the way I would do it with a two by two determinant. But you need this prep step of subtracting off to basically use this corner as the origin. Now you might think, did I have to use any particular one? Does it matter which one I, I use? Nope. You can use this one as the origin, this one as the origin. So just pick any one of them to be your x naught y naught. And again, the only thing that might happen is if you if you use a different corner, a different vertex from your uh, your fellow student, you might get a negative when they get a positive. But we're just going to take the absolute value at the end. Um, let me just show you one thing, just a nice little summary. Um, so here's what here's the formula that I I just showed you, um, and then th this would be for the parallelogram, right here. For the triangle, you just take the one half. Uh, I don't know why it does that. And then I'll just point out there is an alternate formula in the book. They have this weird three by three determinant formula. And you put these ones in here. Well, it turns out if you actually crank this out, what those ones actually do is they convert it. They do the subtraction, and then they sort of do the two by two determinant. Um, I feel like this is not a great idea because what three by three determinants really are designed to do is calculate volumes in three dimensional space. And by putting in these ones, you kind of trick it into doing a two dimensional problem. But this is really um, fits in better with the theory of, of the geometric theory of determinants.